Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my hot dog wife, Laura. I'm here with my dippable husband, Nathan. And we're here for another Primo in a cup product, uh, hot dog balls. We sure are. So this is more of that whole convenience gone a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, so we have another video on the channel also uh, from Primo about uh, scrambled eggs. You can make a whole bunch of different types of scrambled eggs. In by the microwave. An, by an egg, and there was a whole bunch of different flavors. It was a unique experience. Go check the video out if you want to see more about that. Yes. So when we saw these, we thought, yeah, we've, we've, we've got to give them a go. Um, I think there's only two varieties which um, we have Currently both Currently that I've, we've seen, yep. There's one here with tomato sauce and one with mustard, but the hot dog balls Excuse themselves me, are American the same. mustard? Sorry, my bad. Um, my first thing, aside from being a little concerned given how the um, egg one went, is that they're not balls. No, they're just like little nod nuggets or something of hot dog. Yeah, because a ball is, you know, a sphere, usually. So, <laughs> so. these require microwaving as yes. per the egg ones. Mm -hmm. um, basically, open it up, uh, you add cold water to fill, place a cup in microwave and heat on high for one minute. Stir, drain, and enjoy. Or boiling water to fill line, let stand for four minutes. Yeah, so they have two different ways of doing them. They show you the different fill lines depending on how you're going to cook them. Uh, we are just going to pop them uh, in the microwave and, and use that method purely because we did not boil water before starting this. No, um, I'm scared. I've got to be honest. Um, these were, I think, three dollars around that ballpark. Or maybe slightly more. I can't remember. Three or four dollars. I can't remember. And they were available at Woolworths in mm. Australia. They probably may be available at Coles. I don't know. I haven't been there. Um, let's just yeah, open, look, let's open them up. I'm going to start this by saying I enjoy hot dogs. You are not a huge hot dog fan, personally. Oh, yeah. um, I have had microwaved hot dogs before. I didn't enjoy them oh, no. that way. I would prefer to boil my hot dogs so, or um, grill them or something tastier. Uh, it's not going to focus. It's a weird colour. It's very light, like it's been soaking I mean, around for a while. That's not the colour hot dogs should be. Oh, does it say to leave the lid on? I think it's peel, peel off com film completely. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you also get quite a big dipping sauce pack of mustard. Of mustard. Do not microwave top of film. And yeah. oh, my like, one is that? the tomato sauce. Oh, yummy. You've got a bit of like foil or something on yours. Ah. Oh. Well, that's concerning. Is it a bit of. Oh, that's metal. That's metal. That's metal. Feel that. Oh. Yeah, my hand was wet too because these are quite moist inside. Yummy metal filings. Um, Have fun with that. I'm taking this one. Well, maybe we'll just cook that one. I mean, they're both the same, the actual hot dog balls. I'm a little concerned. I'm not sure I want to eat something that's had... Yeah, that, that is literally a bit of metal filing. If it'll focus. Ah. Uh, now, we haven't had anything on us that would have small bits of metal on it. I'm just going to say, like, that was in here. Ugh. I also noticed these are different, kind of different colours. Yeah, yours is like slightly there's... more colour. Well, no, like, even just on the end of it. They look old. You know how sometimes you cook a hot dog and you leave it in the pot for too no, long? I can't get it to... And at the top of the hot dog floats to the top and that gets exposed to the air. Oh, look at the difference. This one's got, like, weird, blotchy, different colour at the end and the other one hasn't. All right, let's go cook the cursed All hot dogs. Okay, so we're going to fill it with water and because we're putting it in the microwave, we're just going to go to here. Yep. Of course, I'll... the fill line's on the outside, so it's a little Keep difficult... Keep on going, I'll let you know. ...to see about... A bit more. There-ish? Yeah, just, sort of, just enough to sort of cover them, it looks like. Yeah, I guess the boiling water you need a bit more of to keep right. the heat in there a bit longer. I'm going to go microwave this. We'll be right back. So, uh, yeah. Um, we've, boiled, uh, we've microwaved it for a minute. And, and now the whole... Sorry, and stirred and... Whoops. Oh, yes. Drained the water back out. And now the whole kitchen smells of old microwave hot dog. Like, <laughs> yes. It's not great, but... Um, We've done it. While we were microwaving this, we also just had another look to see if like there's any sort of like the packaging that metal could have come off. Um, the only thing that even remotely looks like it is like the foil lid on these sauce packets. But this is kind of that flimsy, you know, peely mm. stuff. Um, and the actual piece that was in there was hard. So, you know, draw your own conclusions there. All right. I'm just going to try one dry. So no Check it for metal. Check it for metal. <laughs> God. Never thought I'd have to say that no. in our, our um, snack here. They're not boiling hot. Hmm. The colour's weird though. They're okay. Really? Ish. 
the texture is not the texture for a hot dog i think is quite smooth or a bit this is like um it's definitely like a hot dog but it's not the same as if you bought hot dogs i, I it's it's weird there's something slightly different about it the textures i think what threw me it's a bit more chewy but not chewy it's just thicker it's just slightly different oh my this is really hard to peel off it's yeah, not coming off very come well off well either the oh, like plastic on. bit is separating from the lid i can't <laughs> that's too small of a hole to dip the hot yeah, dog you, ball you, you in dip, you do the mustard <laughs> dip the mustard all right so we've got um what, american, american mustard. mustard it's quite sweet is that yep oh i feel like that's too sweet all right. Long time viewers will know I don't love really sweet stuff. Um, and that's sweeter than other American mustards that we would purchase. Oh, that tastes similar to ketchup. Really sweet too. I wouldn't say that the mustard improves the hot dog bowls at all. It kind of doesn't... I guess sort of end up... It doesn't it just, go great to me. It just comes off and then you're left with this interesting hot dog sort of ishness also for me um i mean i like kind of having the bun with the hot dog obviously you know it's not a healthy thing so if you're gonna eat a hot dog you may as well have it with a bun and some other toppings and things i'm not really a fan of like just a plain old hot dog on its own now the other thing is so these are oh, a bit hang between, on, i haven't tried the tomato these are sauce. about what three or four dollars i roughly i can't remember the exact amount I think Woolworth sells like you can get a pack of like six hot dogs for about the same price. I think full size ones mm. or Frankfurters, whatever you call them. And yeah, that tomato sauce is um, like ketchup cheap sweet. Tasting. Yeah. Mm. So the, the dips aren't anything to write home about. These have a weird texture and just, I mean, they taste like a hot dog, but not a great one, which is sad because hot dogs are generally not considered high tier meats. No. Um, and then you've also got to like microwave them and uh, you might as well just boil some hot dogs yourself. You can actually cook regular hot dogs in the microwave. Yeah. I mean, uh, not how we would necessarily cook them. It's not a food we eat often. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I, um, nah. Well, I would go for the egg one. Only oh, be no. You wouldn't buy either of these. Uh... <laughs> we wouldn't buy either of Sorry, Primo. Like, we wouldn't buy your hot dog balls or your egg cup things that we reviewed. These I are just... Didn't. Um, yeah. I mean, especially also, it's not great to get some sort of silver hard metal looking object in your food It kind of puts me off a little bit for some reason. <laughs> they don't taste great. Yes, they might be convenient, but I'm positive you could cook a hot dog in the microwave and anyway. You You'd have to have something large enough, or you could just cut your hot dogs in half before you cook them if you don't have a Just empty this out, enough. get a pack of four dollar hot dogs, <laughs> and just cook them in this. They'd taste better, yeah. let's be honest. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you've given these a try, or maybe you've gone back and tried those egg ones that we reviewed. What do you think? I reckon that... Let's hope someone likes them somewhere. I reckon, I think I might have said this in the other one, that these are going to end up in NQR. And if you're in Australia, in certain states, you'll know what that is. Let if me know. If not, it's a store that sells groceries sometimes that weren't great. No. Not always. Sometimes they've got some good stuff there, but yeah. Mm. Um, hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Monday and Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.